Supermodels and movie stars have always been the faces of the big cosmetic companies. Halle Berry, Jessica Biel, Cindy Crawford have all helped sell billions in lipstick and eyeliner. Their gorgeous faces grace magazine ads, commercials, and billboards. But that could all soon change. We might see these superstar beauties on the cover of a printer. Here's Allie Ward. What is beauty to you? Is it on the surface? Or is it deeper? I hopped a plane for the Big Apple to meet one innovator who gives these questions a lot of thought. And she answers the questions with science. Grace Choi is the inventor of Mink, a 3D makeup printer and app. Mink allows you to print your own cosmetics colors at home on a lightweight, modified desktop printer. You choose the color by taking a photo of any shade with your smartphone. Let me see if I can extract it. If you can do that color flower yeah. in an eyeshadow, I will be so excited. Ah, so there are flowers. Yep. After you capture a color you like, pink, for example, the Mink app will send it to the printer, making you a cosmetic yeah, that in that really shade. So. This is the flower we just took. And look, we can make this into a, a powder blush. Yes, exactly. Or if you want, you can always click different colors, you get a deeper one. But this seems like the one that you want to print out. Can we try this? Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's I do it. This. Yeah. So right now, it's starting to make the color that I have on my app. There are a couple of different ways to print makeup with the Mink printer. Put that in. One way is for a tray of base material to be colored with printed pigment. The other is for the pigment to print out on a sheet of specialized paper. So this is kind of sitting on top of the paper because it's kind of waxy? Exactly, it's sitting on top of the paper and it has the color that you wanted. Next, Grace added powder to the pigment to make an eyeshadow. Oh, look at that. And so you get that powder if you see it, like oh, right wow. there. It's look at that. really simple. Can I try it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's really, really rich in color. Yeah, and the more you move it around, the richer it saturates. Grace made a cheek stain, too. So this is just pure aloe vera. So all you do is just squirt that on top. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to make it really pigmented, uh -huh. then you just mix it up a little more. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Yeah. You can even make nail polish. All you need is a white base. So because you have this base pigment on this paper, you can add whatever substrate to it. You can make nail polish, you can make gel, you can make powder. Yeah, exactly. It just depends on the mixing medium. I do so, feel like you've hacked this. It's like you just give someone the color and then it unlocks everything. That's adorable so and that's... also science. <laughs> For Grace Choi, a Harvard Business School graduate, real beauty lies in the substance of a person. It is really in the doing and in the being. And it's that message that motivated her to merge her love of science and art. I think what I'm trying to really get at the root of is, you know, trying to make people see that, you know, there is no standard of beauty. It's really who they are as a person and their personality and their confidence. That's what's most beautiful and most important. Cosmetics and makeup, it should be fun. I think it's very fun. Growing up, I always had problems with self-esteem and I think a lot of people do. And I, I think for me, my contribution to society would be to help alleviate that. And one printout at a time, Mink is making its mark on the cosmetics industry with grace, style, and a stroke of genius.